feel like I'm in a mukbang. All right, well, hey, my name is Jason Hahn, and I'm here to test out these different chili oils, um, crispy chili oils, to be exact. Uh, this is Lao Gan Mad. This is the OG uh, chili crisp, and apparently, uh, I'm not Chinese, I'm Korean, but a lot of Chinese Americans grew up eating this at home. So I think this is kind of the standard that we'll base everything off of, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, these are Japanese, um, Chinese. This is uh, from uh, Sichuan, China as well, um, but uh, made to be very, I guess, hipsterish. Then we have Momofuku's uh, chili, chili crunch. So um, I'm not too sure how much David Chang had involvement with this, but we'll talk about that. And we have another one, which is uh, Chef, Chef Troy's recipe. And we'll go into uh, the differences here. Uh, but right off the bat, these are the more Asian style. These have MSG included in them. And I know what you guys are thinking, like, well, MSG, I don't want that in my body. But if you think about it, if you eat Cheez-Its, <clears throat> they have MSG in it. If you have Doritos, they have MSG in it. Uh, but surprisingly, this Shin Namyeon, doesn't have MSG in it. And I, I think a lot of the times uh, Asian food gets a bad reputation because of the MSG, but um, they're more careful about it. They don't use it. Uh, they tend to use alternatives. So these three over here, they use, um, I guess, soy and seaweed and other things that provide the umami uh, without the MSG. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I've been trying them for a little bit, but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of rice in a dish and then I'll, I'll top it and I'll have a little bit of a bite. And so hopefully you guys can hear and uh, see what I think about each of these. So why don't we get started then? Yeah. We have three bites here. And that's the Lao Ma. This is the SNB. And this is the, I'm not, I'm not even too sure what this is called. And we'll have each here. So this one, hmm, there's a lot of texture. Mm. It tastes a lot like sesame oil with like little crunchy bits. The garlic isn't all that apparent. Um, good sort of like mouthfeel with the umami kind of stuff. I think the MSG, um, you know, fakes that and it makes it, it does a really good job with it. Not even fakes it, but it's like a cheating way of doing it, right? Mm. The SMB is not as crispy. Like this one is definitely crispier, but it tastes more garlicky. It has like a, the flavor of like <clears throat> uh, the um, sushi, the, that spicy mayo that you get has more sort of that flavor to it. Mm. I think they're both salted very well, but this has more of a garlic flavor. This one doesn't really taste like much except for like sesame oil and crispy. So that's, that's not, it's not terrible either. Now the Lao Ma has uh, Szechuan peppers and stuff like that. So it's very, um, very Chinese in a good way, like authentically Chinese. Let's see. <clears throat> so that has the Szechuan peppercorn, which gives a little bit of like a mouth numbing sort of effect. There's heat in the back. This one doesn't really hold back with flavor. Um, so out of these three, I feel like <clears throat> this one tastes the best. This one has the best texture. This is the most authentic. Um, if I had to choose one between these three, the MSG variants, um, I don't know. I'd probably, they're all different, but for texture, for flavor, and for authenticity, I mean, I, I guess I, I can live with all three. But I'd probably pick this one just to have, um, just because I feel like it, it does everything well and balanced. So the SMB, um, they're known for their curry. Um, growing up, if you ever had Japanese curry, this is the, probably one of the brands that you get. I think it does a really good job with it. So let's go on to the next three. Let me clean up a little bit and we'll see. So continuing on, we'll do fly by Jing. 
which in my mind is more along the lines of Lao Gan Ma, but it's more of everything. Um, there's big uh, chunks of soybean. Like you can kind of you can kind of see them. They're almost like like little like berries of sorts, like little caper berries almost. Um, there's a session of peppercorn and everything. And it's a it's a new guy. You can't find this in the store. I had to buy this online. And so I don't know if you can see that there. Pretty good. The Momofuku Chili Crunch is uh, kind of what got me started on this. Uh, we got this as a gift for Christmas. Uh, thank you, P-Tom. And let's see. Well, that's a lot. Oh well, I'm here to taste it, right? And then we have this last one here, which is the Chef Troy's, um, which at H Mart when I bought it, there was very few of these left. There was room for a lot of them, but there's only like maybe um, a few left, but you could tell there were a lot there. So I feel like this is a very popular choice as well. And there's a lot of crunch there. So we'll go with the Fly by Jing just because I had the OG right before it, so it'll be easier for me to compare. So let's see how this goes. There's a lot of crunch there. And this doesn't have MSG. Hmm. I feel like there's more of everything compared to this. It's more of that peppercorn is really in your face. Um, you can taste the the fermented soybean, um, the garlic, uh, it's, it's well seasoned, it's, it's good, it enhances the rice, um, and it's very authentic. So it's more along the lines. So these two, I would say they're in the same sort of category. But I prefer this one, um, for sure, over the Lao Gan Ma. Like, this is just more subtle, and it's good, but if you really want to make your, your, your food flavored, I would go with the Fly by Jing, for sure. Now we'll, talk, we'll try the Momofuku. I kind of put on a lot, unfortunately, um, but we'll see how this goes. Hmm. So definitely a lot of crunch going on. I feel like it's um, more minced garlic. That's pretty spicy on the back end, but it lacks the authentic sort of peppercorn, Szechuan peppercorn that's going on here with these two. So this one is more like fancy. It has these different chilies I've never heard of. It uses mushroom powder and some seaweed and some yeast extract um, to make it uh, umami flavored, umami filled that is. So, mm, and it's sweet. But this one I remember initially didn't have much flavor to it. Since I put on a lot, it's actually it's actually pretty good. It's um. A little sweeter than I remember it. Um, and this is also a little harder to find. I think you have to order it from their website. And then we'll try the last one here. Chef Troy's recipe. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. I like this one a lot. They're similar. This is more of a simple um, it tastes more like sesame oil, it's sweeter, it's crunchy, it's a cleaner sort of flavor. I think it's the cleanest flavor amongst all of them. So I think it's the simplest uh, list of ingredients here. Um, it's garlic, sesame oil, onion, sugar, um, some yeast extract, some paprika. So I, I think overall this is probably like the simplest, cleanest, um, kind of sweet. It has a nice flavor. Um, this one here is harder to come by, but it's it's similar, but I feel like this is more of like a simpler, sweeter, sort of more approachable flavor. Mm, this one I feel like it's too fancy for its own good. Um, I kind of wish it was a little bit, um, I guess, more flavor on its own sometimes, but I mean, I think they want you to try it with pizza and things. Fly by Jing is the most authentic. I know these two, okay, this is the most authentic, but this has retains authenticity, but also uh, packs a lot more flavor. Um, so I think this is delicious. They, they mentioned on the label here to put it on ice cream and things like that too. I've yet to try that, but I mean, I mean, hopefully it'll be good. 
And these two are fine. Um, they, they offer a lot in the texture department. Um, this one's more textured uh, than this, but I feel like these two are uh, in a different, like lower level than the rest. Well, than these two especially, because they're they're um, they're coming from a different sort of DNA. So anyway, if I had to recommend one, it would probably be the Fly by Jing, for sure. And then I really like uh, the Chef Troy just because of its accessibility. It's easy to find in H Mart Nashi. Uh, to be honest, I found um, these four uh, H Mart and Nashi, and um, they're very easy to come by. So if I had to suggest two that were easily found, I would suggest these two here. Maybe one of these if you like the country garlic, but I feel like these two kind of uh, take it. And then for one, if I just had to recommend one, out of all of these, just for, in terms of finding it readily available, it would be the Chef Troy. I feel like the Chef Troy has, um, it's not too crazy on the spice department. It adds a lot of good flavor, adds a lot of good crunch. Um, it's relatively inexpensive, I think, for this bottle, it's maybe like six or seven dollars. I believe that this is around 10, this was 38 dollars, and it took forever to ship because of Corona and all that stuff. Um, and again, I forget how much these were, but they're reasonable, like less than $10 a bottle here. So yeah, so there you have it. I would say again, this is my like kind of number one, just for the sake of like three different things for accessibility, um, for flavor and price. This would be my other asterisk number one, uh, because it does have so much flavor. It's, it's delicious, but it's just hard. To, it's hard to find at the bottom line. Um, and it's a little pricey. But I feel like it's worth it. And there's such a large jar. It's going to last such a long time. Real quick. Just half press the, the shutter. It still says Dork Slayer. Is it recording? Yep. It says Dork Slayer, though. It says, it says Rec Dork Slayer? Yeah. Thank you. We have hot, hot, crispy habanero peppers. This is not uh, Asian by any means. This is actually a product from uh, Mexico. But. They are kind of along the same lines. These are crispy, they're deep fried, and all it is is these habanero peppers, some garlic, some salt, and uh, they're packed in an olive oil. But they offer mm, they offer a nice crunch. They can be very very spicy, so watch out for that. They're more along the lines of like these crispy onion kind of things. That's that's kind of um, what they're sort of emulating. And if you like habanero pepper and that flavor, then you should try St. Lucifer. St. Lucifer is a product from Philadelphia, um, and it's it's really good. Uh, this is one of my favorite spices to use. It almost tastes like uh, the seasoning packet from uh, a Shin uh, but they put it into like this sort of easy to use form. This is really good on like avocado toast and eggs and whatever else have you, pizza. Um, delicious flavor. So anyway, those are my last two sort of spicy recommendations, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Take care. I'll, I'll I don't know if I'll if I'll make any more of these, but it was fun. So let me know if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments. If you want me to review anything else, let me know. YouTubers say smash that like button. I don't really care. You do you. Um, and thank you so much. And I'll talk to you. My name is Jason on Bite.